Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second part of finding um, using trig functions. But instead of finding sides, we're going to be finding angles now. So the prior lesson, we learned what the trig functions represent. Um, we have our um, acronym SOCATOA to help us remember. And um, we're going to use that and apply it to over the rest of the problems. OK, so for this problem, we have opposite and hypotenuse, so we're going to use sine. And remember, we're going to do sine of x is equal to 15 over 24. So now when we're trying to solve for this number that's inside our um, trig function, we need to um, use the function sine inverse, sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tangent inverse. So if you have a scientific calculator, you're going to press your second um, button and then the sine function to bring it up. So x is equal to sine inverse of 15 over 24. So sine inverse 15 over 24, that's all inside those parentheses. So x is equal to 38.7 if you round. Um, also make sure, I said this in last um, video, to make sure your calculator is in degrees because we're trying to find the degree of that angle. We're not trying to find radians, okay? So we have adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine of x is equal to 8 over 11. So x is equal to cosine inverse of 8 over 11. X is equal to 43.3 degrees. Sorry. Opposite and adjacent. So tangent of X is equal to 20 over 37. X is equal to tangent inverse of 20 over 37. Cosine of x is equal to 18 over 23. So x is equal to 38.5 degrees. This one is sine. And lastly, we have opposite and adjacent. So tangent of x is equal to 7 over 5. And 54.5 degrees. So doing a little bit of a review um, with sides and angles, this is a kind of a um, mixed review. We have opposite and adjacent, so tangent of 39 is equal to 11 over x. So we get x is equal to 11 divided by tangent of 39, which is 13.6. Adjacent hypotenuse, so we have cosine of x is equal to x over 28. x is equal to 28 cosine of, oh, I'm sorry, it should be 46. So x is equal to 19.5. Opposite and adjacent, so tangent of 51 is equal to 8 over x. And sine of 24 is equal to x over 31. Okay, just move this out of the way a little bit. Okay. We 
we have adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine of x is equal to 14 over 22. And I'm just going to write the answer 50.5. So we know how to go through these. It's just doing cosine inverse. Um, opposite adjacent. So tangent of x is 25 over 78 x is 17.8 degrees. Adjacent hypotenuse, so cosine of x is equal to 31 over 36. x is equal to 30.6 degrees. And then we have opposite hypotenuse, so sine of x is equal to 10 over 19. x is equal to 31.8 degrees. Now we get to a little bit of more challenging problems because we kind of have to use one triangle, solve it, and then find the next. So if we are trying to find um, DE here, we're trying to find this missing um, side length, we need to use this top triangle to find what this side is first because then we need to use that for the bottom one because obviously the, the only thing that they share is FD. So if we are doing this is opposite and adjacent, so tangent of 61 is equal to x over 24. x is equal to 43.3. So now that we know that, we can use this triangle on the bottom. I'm going to name it y, I'm sorry. So that means we have opposite and adjacent. So again, we're going to do tangent of 19 degrees is equal to y over 43.3 to get y is equal to 14.9. For trying to find the measure of angle w here, um, we need to know what this side is because that's obviously the one that they um, share. So let's rename these as A and B because we already have X in this problem. Okay, so we have opposite and hypotenuse. So sine of 25 is equal to 15 over B. B is equal to 35.5. Then we have um, opposite and adjacent, so that's tangent of A is equal to 20, oops, sorry, 35.5 over 22. So A is equal to 58.2 degrees. And then we got two application problems down here. So like I said before, the hardest thing is just drawing the picture and trying to set it up. So the ladder is leaning against a wall, We've seen this problem a couple times. Um, it makes an angle 75 degrees with the ground. If the foot of the ladder is six feet from the base of the house, what is the length of the ladder? Okay, so we're doing um, adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine of 75 is equal to six over X. Solve that to get 23.2 feet. Jaden is flying a kite and lets off um, 275 feet of string. If the kite is 150 feet from the ground, um, and assuming the string is straight, what is the angle that the that it makes with the ground? So we're trying to find um, that value there. I should do it as x, I'm sorry. So we would have opposite and hypotenuse. So sine of x is equal to 150 over 200. Take sine inverse and we get the angle to be 33.1 degrees. All right. So I hope that helps.